With Apple Watch Series 6, you can measure your blood oxygen right from your wrist. The new health sensor in Series 6 shines red and infrared light onto your wrist and measures the amount of light reflected back. Advanced algorithms use this data to calculate the color of your blood, which indicates the amount of oxygen present. The new blood oxygen app lets you take a measurement in just 15 seconds. And Series 6 also captures periodic background readings and stores them in your health app. So if you wear your Apple Watch to bed, it can record background measurements while you sleep. I'll hand it over to Sumbul to talk more about blood oxygen and its importance to your health. Blood oxygen saturation, also known as SpO2, is like a vital sign. It's a key measurement that contains critical information about your breathing and circulation. Apple Watch is already a powerful health tool with apps that measure heart rate and heart rhythm. And now adding blood oxygen brings another valuable health measurement to users. Blood oxygen and pulse oximetry are terms that we've heard a lot about during the COVID pandemic. As you breathe, your heart and lungs work together to deliver oxygen throughout your body. Blood oxygen saturation is an indication of how well this system is functioning and of your overall respiratory and cardiac health. And pulse oximetry is how you measure it. Now, the Blood Oxygen app on Series 6 lets you measure your blood oxygen for fitness and wellness purposes from your wrist, anywhere, and at any time. This is a great new tool for your overall well being. And to enable future medical discoveries, we're launching three new health research studies to learn how longitudinal blood oxygen measurements, along with other health metrics from Apple Watch, can help manage conditions that affect the heart and lungs. First, to study how to better manage and control asthma using physiological signals from Apple Watch, we're collaborating with the pulmonary experts at the University of California, Irvine, and Anthem. Second, to learn more about how metrics, including blood oxygen, can be used to manage heart failure, we're partnering with one of the largest research organizations in North America, the University Health Network, and the investigators at the University of Toronto. And finally, as we all continue to learn more about COVID and understand the interplay with influenza, we're partnering with the investigators of the Seattle Flu Study and faculty from the University of Washington School of Medicine. We will explore how changes in blood oxygen and heart rate can be early signals of the onset of these respiratory conditions. So that's the new blood oxygen feature. We're so excited to bring this important new health capability to our users.